Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Morning Heart Devotion. Thank you all for joining. Let's start off by offering a greeting about to our heavenly parents and true parents. Chongjin, Chamomonimke, Kyombe, Baro. Now, to lead us through the family pledge, I'd like to invite Reverend Milhan Stevens. Kajang Mengse, Il, Chanyo Guk Juin. 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 번향 땅을 찾아 번연의 창조 이상인 지상 천국과 천상 천국을 장건할 것을 맹세하나이다. 이 자녀 극 주인 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님과 참 부모님을 모시어 천주의 대표적 가정이 되며. 중심적 가정이 되어 가정에서는 효자, 국계에서는 중심, 세계에서는 성인, 천주에서는 성자의 가정의 도리를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 3. 천여국 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 4대 심정권과 3대 왕권과 헝족권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 4. 천여국 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님의 창조 이상인 천주대 가족을 형성하여 자유와 평화와 통일과 행복의 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 5. 천여국 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 매일 주체적 천상세계와 대상적 지상세계의 통일을 향해 천진적 발전을 촉진화할 것을 맹세하나이다. 6. 천여국 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님과 참 부모님의 대신 가정으로서 천운을 움직이는 가정이 되어 하늘의 축복을 주변에 연결시키는 가정을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 7. 천여국 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 번연의 혈통과 연결된 위하는 생활을 통하여 심정문화 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 8. 천여국 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 천여국 시대를 맞이하여 절대 신앙, 절대 사랑, 절대 복종으로 신인의 일체 이상을 이루어 지상 천국과 천상 천국의 해방권과 석방권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. Thank you very much, Reverend Milhan Stevens. And now to open us up in prayer, I'd like to invite up Eduardo Batino. Eduardo Batino. Please unmute yourself. There we go. Can you hear me? Yes. Let us pray. Our most beloved heavenly parents, true parents, Jesus of heaven and earth and humankind, we want to express our gratitude to you, to our beloved true parents, who did a good foundation for us to be here and be able to receive the blessing, the blessing. We pray, Heavenly Parents, that through the works of our true mother, who continuously follow the footsteps of our true father, that she can be able to guide all our brothers and sisters throughout the whole world. And sending our beloved Dr. Young here in North America, that through him, 
you can be able to substantially realize the goal of realizing John L. Gook in this country. This country is really being prepared by you so that this country can be able to can be able to help the providence throughout the whole world. Heavenly parents, we pray that all our blessed central families can be able to completely unite with our Dr. Young and all sub-regional leaders, our national leader, and unite together so that we can be able to save this country and bring your idea of creation, Heavenly Parents. As we come before you every morning, we want to offer also our repentance because we have so have many limitations. We pray, Heavenly Parents, that through this morning devotions, we can be able to internally, internally strengthen our hearts and our mind and our soul and one with our Dr. Young, who patiently guiding us and preparing the words of guidance and inspirations so that we can be victorious ourselves and we can be able to unite together, especially as a couple, which is, which is the very basic foundation for us to restore this country. Heavenly parents, thank you so much for everything and for all the blessings that you have given to us. And we pray that through our, through our commitment, especially yesterday, we just started with our Filipino Leadership Summit Conference in East Garden. I pray that this could be the starting point where we can be able to work hand in hand together with all our brothers and sisters uniting hearts. I pray, Heavenly Parents, that those, those couples who committed, those six couples who committed the, to fulfill that 443 uh, separation ceremony, that they can be able to have good experience experience in their hearts and their soul and can be able to recognize that the true parents already on earth and that through them they can be able to receive spiritual guidance thank you so much heavenly parents thank you for guiding all the second generations to to step up and be able to to inherit our Dr. Young's foundation for his commitment for this country. Thank you for all the blessings that you have given to us. I pray and report this in our name, Eduardo and Esther Bertino, a blessed central family. Aju. Aju. Thank you, Patino, Reverend Patino, and also helping for your ethnic group on the workshop, Kamsamida. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Bettino. All right, brothers and sisters, yesterday was history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift of blessings. So let's take the next few minutes sharing the blessings in our life today. If you're by yourself, please take this moment to reflect on what you're appreciative of this morning. We'll see you all in six minutes. <laughs>
Welcome back, everyone. I see lots of smiles, uh, indicative of, of uh, a lot of sharing and and connection ha that happened in the breakouts. Uh, I had in my breakout a couple and an individual of whom I'd like to invite one of them from Norway, from Norway, uh, Roswita Johansson. Roswita Johansson, I'd like you to share and possibly finish your gratitude point for today. Okay, thank you very much, Resret. It was a pleasure to be together with you and one Japanese couple. And as I, as I said, I'm so grateful for this opportunity that I can be together with all of you in America. I feel so one with you. <laughs> I, I said also because the Japanese uh, brother, he explained that he had a dream about Jesus and I was born as a Christian, so I knew who Jesus was. At least at that time I thought I knew. And later on I got to know him much deeper. And uh, when I went to Japan, I could really see the Japanese members reading the Bible, studying it to really understand what it means to be a Christian, what it means, what who Jesus was. So I'm, I'm very grateful for all the Japanese members and also like Resfred said, the Filipino have now this community and it's, I feel just so grateful to hear how everything is developing. And of course, most grateful, of course, I'm to Dr. Young, who is giving us so deep explanations about true father and true mother. And my, my love to uh, true parents has developed also, my understanding became deeper because if you read it by yourself, then yes, something you understand, but if you read it together with some people and you discuss, then it really gets under your skin. And this is so wonderful. I'm so grateful for each one who is on this call. Wow. And I wish we can reach 360 and more. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Johansen, uh, Jonna Johnson's uh, mother-in-law. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Sister Rosvita. Uh, next, I'd like to invite up Mary Stoner, Mary Stoner, to share with us her gratitude point this morning. Well, thank you, Russ, Fred. <laughs> I'm grateful to be in America. And I, I really take so much for granted. And I think someone on the Zoom call earlier said, or was it Reverend? My my my, uh, dis my district pastor said in America sometimes it, we get comfortable we get comfortable and, and um, I take things for granted but when I see all of the brothers and sisters then I'm grateful uh, yeah. for uh, this country because my mom was from a foreign country and, and she always said the people that really understand America the most are from the foreign countries because they appreciate the uh, uh, history and the freedoms and the many blessings that we had that we got used to. And I, I repent for that and I'm grateful, but I repent at the same time, but thank you. Let's get on with the program. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Stoner. Uh, thank you very much, uh, just Mary. And brothers and sisters, I uh, lift a pair of hearts and mind to receive our heavenly inspiration today through our beloved Dr. Chon Shik Yong. Annyeonghaseyo. Good morning, good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, the clergy and ambassador for peace, annyeonghaseyo. Here, Ohio State, Ohio gozaimasu. Today, August 1st, is the end of the seventh morning heart devotion, 40-day period, Jongsong condition. It has been 280 days since we started morning devotion. Yesterday, I attended Filipino Leadership Summit 2021, 
in the East Garden. From now on, there will be frequent ethnic group workshops. Thank you, Philippine community leaders and staff, and also Subregion 1 uh, completely support this Philippine community uh, you know, leaders uh, uh, summit. It was really, really beautiful and good. I'd like to show you some photo and then, you know, our Dr. Kittle uh, came to the East Garden all the way from Chicago. I really appreciate our Dr. Kittle's uh, such a great effort. So Filipino Leaders Summit was held at the East Garden on July 30 and 31st. Around 50 people attended. Yeah, I deliver some speech to them. Yes. And the six couple did full blessing steps and offered gratitude donation. Yeah, some couple. And we also had seven uh, children uh, do the purity pledge in front of their parents and offered their parents uh, a rose. It was really, really beautiful. Yes, and the Naokimi came and then our key leaders and really helping this ethnic group summit. It was very beautiful. And also Michael came from all the way from Las Vegas. I really appreciate all of you. And yesterday evening we arrived in Ohio, uh, the third subregion. Thank you to Takami, subregional leader and staff for welcoming me. And today I'd like to talk about, uh, uh, you know, speaking to a stained with tears. Heavenly, I want to invite Heavenly, uh, Heavenly Honey to read. A local dignitary said, she really is a person sent by God. The event was a tremendous success. And at the victory celebration that evening, I warmly held the hands of each participating member individually. Even though I was exhausted, I maintained a high spirit for the sake of the precious guests, VIPs, and members who had come from far away to meet me. It turned into a joyous occasion as we encouraged each other. When I returned home, my husband, who listened to all my speeches by phone or later through the internet, patted me on the back and expressed his appreciation. Where else could you get such a blessing, he said, having such success at a place that is 4,000 meters closer to heaven. Besides bringing the word of God, during my tours, I conducted ceremonies to liberate the spirit of those whose lives had been sacrificed. <clears throat> the true parent's victory upon the earth has opened the gates of resurrection in the spirit world. The members in Austria in the spring of 2018 carried out such a ceremony. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. Everyone who meets from mother testifies by saying, she really is a person sent by God. Therefore, we also need to become people who show God like true parents in our life of faith. I am not just uh, asking you to listen to the principle. It's not just about believing in Jesus and true parents. Now we really have to show our lives. It is the age of living of faith in which parents show God to their children, husband, husbands show God to their wives, wives show God to their husbands, Abel's show God to Cain's, and pastors show God to their family and members. The era of the faith, just believe in God and believe in Jesus, that kind of era already gone. Now is really we need to show God. We need to show our true parents through our 
daily life. Despite the busy schedule, Tromada warmly held the hands of each participating member individually. After the event was over, let the ministry always have a personal touch. Make sure you love every single one of them. So our mission is that of, that of the sun, the moon, the star, and the air. Now the sun uh, even, uh, evenly, uh, equally illuminates the whole world regardless of the circumstances. The moon and star also illuminate the whole world when it becomes the night. And air provides air to all living humans and all things. Actually, the sun and moon and stars and air, really, this is a representative of God's love. The how can I become like a moon and the stars and then sun and the like air? Equally love anyone. This is how beautiful it is. That's why when you look at sun, you need to feel God's love. When you look at moon and star, you need to feel God's love. And when you feel, when you, you know, breathe every time, you need to really appreciate the air. The air provides air to all living creatures and human beings. Wow, God is really, really amazing. That's why my internal, internal my goal sometimes, uh, you know, when I was young and then I did not know much about the life of faith, sometimes, uh, you know, I'm struggling with my able and leaders and members, someone that looks like my enemy. And then my internal goal, heavenly parents, uh, let me become like a moon and stars, and sun, and air, equally love anyone. Does not matter your enemy, does not matter your good friend, does not matter your stranger, any kind of a color, any kind of background. God is something like that. God to true love is something like that. And true mother show that kind of the lifestyle to any human being, whenever she meet anyone. True mother main, maintained a high spirit for the sake of the precious guests, VIPs and members who had come from far away to meet her. And then mother style or even father style always tried to using the like a personal touching, personal touch to anyone they really try their best to use that kind of the ministry, personal touching ministry. Besides putting the word of God during tour, tours through mother, conducted ceremonies to liberate and the spirit of those whose lives had been sacrificed through mother's life as a mother of peace, always relieved and comforted the soul who were sacrificed from their bitter sorrows. Bible says, blessed are those who are mourn, for they will be comforted. And when, wherever I go through mother, always, you know, check the environment of the historical environment, of what was going on here, many people sacrificed. True mother really tried to release or relieve and comfort the soul. That's why Bible say, bless those who are mourn, for they will be comforted. Mother is really practice that kind of the Jesus word everywhere. Have any honey, please? If you follow the Danube River west from Vienna for about two hours, you come to the village of Malthausen. Amid its beautiful scenery is a visitor's center in front of a depressing and sinister looking building. That building with its towering walls of thick gray brick brings on tears 
of bitter grief. For during the Second World War, it was a concentration camp. There, the Nazis incarcerated Jews and many others. Many of the almost 200,000 people that passed through Mauthausen met miserable death. What remains are not relics from 70 years ago. The true pain one feels there is that of the spirit persons who are stuck in that prison, trapped in their resentment. They can resurrect only after the true parents of healing and hope can console them and alleviate their bitter resentment and sadness. It happened like this. I had traveled to Vienna to hold the 2018 Peace Starts With Me rally in the Vienna Stathalle. I was especially encouraged by the bright spirits of the young people who pledged themselves for peace. But the next morning at breakfast, some of our European leaders came to me with serious faces to present a special request that I permit a ceremony of liberation at Mauthausen. Okay, continue, please. I send special representatives to hold a liberation ceremony in Mauthausen. They presented lilies, which represent eternal love and offered special prayers, opening the gate to alleviate the suffering of those tormented, tormented souls. They prayed that those people now in the spirit world could release their sadness and resentment and become absolute good spirits who would find their way to the realm of blessing and joy that God has prepared for us all. It is important to build memorials and educate people about historical wrongs. Still, the higher priority is to release the bitter anguish and anger harbored by those who came before us and who suffered and died unjustly. Wherever I go, people who don't know me grasp both my hands tightly, not wanting to let go. Their sorrow upon my departure is deeply engraved in my heart. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. True Mother said, it is important to build memorials and educate people about historical wrongs, but still the higher priority is to release the bitter anguish and anger harbored by those who came before us and who suffered and die unjustly. By performing liberation ceremony for them, True Mother made it possible for them to find a resting place for the souls of their victims. True Mother's cause as a True Mother embraced the whole world and the live a life of uh, wiping away their tears for poor mankind and soul. Really, Mother is a mother of peace. Really, truly, truly, really console them and comfort, comfort them and wiping away their tears. Thank you, our true mother. Can you continue? Many people want to see me. And after we spend time together, they feel an emptiness when I'm gone. This is because we are bound by heaven. Our original parents broke away from God's embrace 6,000 years ago. The only begotten son and only begotten daughter are reconnecting heaven, earth, and humankind and guiding people to live a true life. That is why some people are brought to tears when they meet God's only begotten daughter. I have traveled hundreds and thousands of kilometers over the decades to convey God's love. Although my journey has often been very difficult, 
I have always been happy. My words and footprints will never disappear. Each and every day, they will multiply, bearing fruit that will nourish this world and beyond. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. We need to know that the reason why so many people want to see true mother, miss true mother, and feel on uh, emptiness when true mother is gone is because it is a relationship between the heart of parents and children created by heaven. Since true mother had to play the role of the only begotten daughter, a mediator who connects to uh, connects the two in order for mankind to live a true life that has been broken away from God's embrace 6,000 ago. Some people are brought to tears when they meet God's only begotten daughter and all true people, uh, true people come to know the value of true mother. The only purpose of true mother was to uh, traveling hundreds of thousands of kilometers every day for decades was to convey the love of God. True mother said that although the difficult journey was indescribable, she was always happy. Just as True Mother said that the footprints left by True Mother to convey God's love will never disappear. We learn that we need to make sure that our footprints do not disappear forever with every person we meet and wherever we go. I really learned True Mother's such a journey. Now I'm traveling here and there. I need to have the same kind of the mindset and attitude like our true father and true mother. You know, wherever I go, how can I convey God's love? How can I deliver our true parents' love? And the more I go, the more I can deliver God's true love, our true parents' incredible to love, and then accumulate, and accumulate, and accumulate, and accumulate. And then the society become better, our member situation is better, our nation situation become better, God's providence become more, you know, God's, you know, the providence can make it more shorter. I always really learn our true parents' footprints. We will have to make sure that the footprints of our love grow like our true mother. Every day grow year after year to convey my village, my tribe, my country, and the world. Even though my journey is very, very, really, very tough, sometimes very tired, but whenever I think about the mother's life course, through Father's life course, immediately my tiredness is disappear. Why? Because I am happy to convey through parents' love and God's love. The more I meet our members and brothers and sisters, I become the representative of God and true parents, embrace them, talk to them, listen to them. This is a really, really one of the very, very happy journey. Thank you, our true mother. You guided me in such a way. And today's fathers were the reason we lose energy. Please have any honey to read. The reason we lose energy. It is the same for Reverend Moon of the Unification Movement. When I feel melancholy, because there are no members around, I go to the mountain. Additionally, when my heart feels dry, I compare the persecution I received in the past when walking the way of God's will with today's persecution. I compare the predicaments of the past with the predicaments of today. I come to know 
today's hardships are nothing compared to the past, then why do you lose energy when today's hardships can't compare to the past? That is because you have thought of yourself. You come to the conclusion that you lose energy because of yourself. In those instances, you have to rectify yourself. You have to be able to distinguish such various problems in your life of faith. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. Why do we lose energy? If you have an object pattern of a heart, whom you can always give and take artistically, you will not be lonely. You lose energy because you cannot give and take. The divine principle says that if you give and take, you will definitely grow and develop. You can man maintain very well. Therefore, always make a, tri a trinity centered on heart with people whom you can artistically give and take. Kingdom of heaven is the place where you can establish relationships of heart. Truly, truly live for the sake of others. Then I will have many people that respect me and that will give me energy. However, if you only think of your own self, you lose energy. If you think you are alone, you lose energy. If you think of the reality rather than fate, you will lose energy. If you compare yourself to the world, you lose energy. Does your face seem bigger or does your reality seem bigger? If you think more about reality than fate, you will inevitably lose strength. If I think of the myself without God and judge based on reality, I always lose power. The fact that I lose my strength is the fact that God has already left me in my heart. That's why, you know, your faith should be stronger than reality. When you lose your power, then your reality bigger than your faith. This is the problem. So my reality bigger than my, my reality bigger than my faith, then means you do not think centering on God's point of view. Already God is departing from your heart. That's why you feel lonely, you're losing the power. Wow, you know, I am nothing. I dedicate so much, you know, my life for the sake of the God's will. At the end, what was the outcome? Still, I don't have a house and still this problem and that problem, my children problem, you know, then reality conquer you. Finally, you lose your energy. That's why, well, whatever you think centering on your own self without God's point of view or God's point of view, you will lose energy. Then how can you overcome? Always need to think centering on God's point of view. And then always need to have a heartistic relationship with your neighbor. You need to have a minimum two or three people give and take heartistically. When you have the heartistic foundation with the members, with the leaders, with your neighbor, you never feel lonely. You never lose energy. That's why always need to give and take. You know, upper level, lower level, the, 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 to the right side, to the left side, to the front and back. Maybe you need to have someone to give and take artistically. Then you never lose your energy. Okay, continue. The attitude that penetrates darkness. Do not lose the root of your heart the mindset you had in the past when darkness comes. 
with the mindset you attained when you offered devotion for God's will in the past, you have to spread it like seeds and harvest it nicely when the time comes. In order to do so, you need the heart of preparation, the heart of penetrating the darkness. When you have this kind of heart, God's will cannot leave you. Wow, very, very important guidance. The root of the heart is the sorrowful heart of God. I am telling you again. The root of the heart is the sorrowful heart of God since Adam and Eve fell. In other words, it is the heart of the filial love. When you lose your partner, when you lose your parents, you lose everything. In my life of faith, God and true parents and my physical parents are my parents of the faith. That's why you need to build up a good relationship with the heavenly parents and true parents, your own physical parents with your own spiritual parents. If you lose, lose that kind of foundation, that you lose everything. Always focus on multiplication. What, what does it mean, multiplication? You need to focus on salvation. How to save people. How to witness people. How to introduce God. How to introduce divine principle. How many spiritual children of a heart. And you need to have... A, many spiritual children of a heart, then you will never get tired. Anyone focus on salvation. Try to really witness people. Try to introduce God's heart. As long as you multiply your own spiritual children, I am telling you, you never feel lonely. Always can get strength and power. If we always prepare sorrowful heart toward God and horizontal longing heart for your object partners, you will break through any darkness. Instead of thinking about the dark reality I face, think about the suffering God who suffers for the world and humankind. This is a top secret. Whenever you think, whenever you think about the in you know, a sorrowful God, when you whenever you think about the sorrowful humankind, the situation of true parents, this is the way to really maintain your life of faith. This is the way to overcome any darkness. Today's youth ministry, how do you fulfill the foundation of faith and foundation of substance? In the foundation of faith where God trusts in me, the heart for others come before the heart for myself all the time. If I always put others first in my life of faith, then I am a person already with a foundation of faith. How about your standard? How about my own standard? You always put others first in your life of faith or not? You know, already become happy. You know, whenever you deal with someone and always put others first in your family, put your parents first, put your spouse first, Put your children first. When you go to church and put, you know, your church leader first, your member first, your cane first, already become good habit in your life of faith. Then you are a person already with a foundation of faith. A self-centered life and heart for oneself always creates this code with others, and cause distrust from people around me. Whenever you put your own self-centeredness, then always creating disharmony 
discord with others. So any someone always make trouble. That means that, that person always put himself he, himself first. Always centered on self centeredness first. This is the problem. There is a conflict between husband and wife, still fighting each other, different opinion, and then you know, complain each other, do not trust each other. That means your self self centeredness, self centeredness is very very strong. Then you don't have yet the foundation of faith, foundation of substance. Anyone make trouble? Anyone make this unity between Cain and Abel, between husband and wife, between parents and child? That means you don't have a foundation of faith yet. However, when I live for the sake of others, people around me will believe in me and try to give it to me all the time. Then God trust in you. Someone trust in you means already you have a foundation. That's why foundation of faith means what? God trust in you. Another mean people trust in you. The foundation of faith is creating an environment where people are indebted to you and trust in you. That's why you need to become a person needed by others. I really need you. Or you cannot just be a person that is there. You are nothing. You are nothing there with me. That's why you need to become a person needed by others. I really need you. My nation need you. My family need you. My, my tribe need you. You know, my church need you. Then already you have the, you have a foundation of faith. The foundation of faith comes about only when you create a relationship where you can give and take with the people around you, share worries and concerns, and even understand their circumstances. Always listen and listen and listen and listen. Their worries and their concerns and their problems. Then already you are central figure in that, you know, in that area. There is no this, there, there is no discord in the family that fulfills the foundation of faith because they are or our family that is united, centered on circumstances of heaven. Such a family revives the heart and respect and longs for each other and creates a foundation of substance. Before Jesus died on the cross, his disciples could not form the foundation of faith before him. Would Jesus have said that Peter denied Jesus three times? Can you imagine about that? The path of the faith is the, the path to become a true person. A true person is recognized by those around him, and many people try to depend on him. Hmm? Means already central figure. You are already center. That means already you have the foundation of the faith. Already you become, you know, already you already form the foundation of substance. A person who can take care of the pain of others when they suffer, relieve the anxiety of them. When they are anxious and give comfort, can become a central figure of the foundation of faith. Therefore, a person who lives for others can create foundation of faith. A person who can take up the cross of others can create foundation to become a true person. 
We must lay the ground for faith with the power of the word in your daily life. You cannot be dominated by the environment of injustice, but you should uh, pave the way for the surrounding anxiety and pain to stabilize and strengthen for yourself and everyone. If you become someone with many object partners who trust and rely on you, the foundation of faith will be established, creating an environment for reconciliation. A person who always reconciles the surroundings is a person who has already achieved the foundation of substance. Reconciliation comes from a heart for others and create environment of goodness, allowing God to be present and seen. My brothers and sisters, do you have a foundation of faith? And do you have the foundation of substance? Those who have a foundation of faith already trusted by God. And those who have a foundation of substance, many people rely on you. And wherever you go, always become harmony maker, peacemaker. Everybody love you and follow you, try to unite with you and try to support you without any reason. Now what, how then, how can we do? Very simple. Truly, truly, truly living for the sake of others. Truly serve others. That is the way to fulfill foundation of faith and foundation of substance. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Young, on your message today on some other's words and very practical, practical message for, for our lives. I know I gained so much from this. So brothers and sisters, let's spend the next few minutes reflecting um, and also sharing with each other what we gained, any insights we gained from today's morning devotion. If you're by yourself, please take this moment to reflect for, on today's morning devotion message. We'll see you all in a few minutes.
Welcome back, everyone. I hope you had a, a wonderful sharing in your breakout. Hope you can hear me as well. Uh, I had a I had a great sharing with with two sisters of whom I'd like to invite one, Justine Teretich. Justine Teretich, to share with us. Please correct me if I'm mispronouncing it. Um, yes, your reflection from today's morning devotion. Please unmute yourself. Thank you, Rush Fred. Good morning, Dr. Young, and good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Justin. Um, yeah, what we shared, uh, what I shared was that uh, a few points that I got from this morning devotion, I said that uh, uh, the Bible says that we are judged by the truth. And yeah, I have a good judgment always with the truth, by the truth because I can see my life of faith and the foundation of faith, the foundation of substance, what am I? Um, uh, Dr. Young says that uh, we need to see how much are we living for the sake of others? How much am I giving myself every single day for somebody else, for others? And then that's uh, a measurement point for to see what I am in the, and I'm so grateful for that, even though I'm nowhere yet, still, I know that uh, I can improve the, through what I'm receiving every single day. And also the foundation of substance, when you accumulate um, a service and good goodness, living for the sake of others, serving others, you accumulate energy that is attractive, whether mm. you like it. Mm. When you are with people, you, are, you attract people because of your heart and mm. what you have accumulated in terms of goodness. Mm. And the people are attracted to you and you are concerned always and you are concerned of others. And that shows and that's it's a testimony of how far you have gone and how where you are. Mm. So we are constantly being... Um, we have a measurement for our love of faith, where we are in terms of foundation of faith and the foundation of substance. And uh, um, also, Russ Fred shared that uh, him too, he's so grateful because what we are receiving is a practical. Um, he can apply this and he can, every single day he's in the space where he can establish the foundation of faith and the true relief for the sake of others, he gives himself for the sake of others. Mm. And um, so, yeah, that's what we, we okay. shared on our group this morning. Thank wow, you. beautiful sharing, Justin. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. Kamsamida. Thank you. Thank you very much, so Justin, for sharing, for sharing with us your reflection. Uh, next, I'd like to invite up uh, Diane and Jung, <laughs> Diane and Jung, to share with us their reflection from today's morning devotion. You can't run this time. There you go. I'm mute. Ah, uh, Rashford. <laughs> oi, oi, <laughs> Diane. What happened, Diane? Oh, Diane, hug. I want to hug you. Right. Jong, thank you. Are you Me here? too, Doctor. <laughs> Want to go first? Sure, I will yeah. go. Um. Okay. Good morning. Um. The point that really stood out for me today was. The point where it says we must lay the ground for faith with the power of word in our daily life and what i was sharing in my group is that um i really do feel that our like personally second gen or um somebody like me um we can really lay that foundation and be that example for others because sometimes i feel so like Set or realize like how come people are so far away from the church how come people are and like how come they're so far away from god but and i struggle i'm like how come they can't feel like that but um what i do realize is that we can be the example for others no matter what happens like it doesn't matter where they are with their faith but just to have that faith with god and continue to keep growing that strong faith with god is something that we can work on and something that i can work on and show to others so yeah that's one point that i really like today so thank you beautiful beautiful mm. yeah.
Yeah, uh, for me, my takeaway for today would be um, I was sharing like Dr. Young was talking about like how why we lose energy, um, and it, it's I needed to hear that the reason why we lose lose energy is because we um, stop giving and taking the gift. And even with my yesterday, because uh, we're at camp in Massachusetts, and one thing that I was thinking about yesterday was like, why, why do I do what I do, and why do I keep going? And this morning, really hearing that, you know, the give and take relationship is what keeps me going, right? Relationship of like. Internet. Think of other. Yeah. Um, I don't know your own. Um, um, how do I say, as Dr. Young always says, and so I finally found the answer this morning just by what Dr. Young uh, mentioned that you know the reason why we lose energy is because of that. Um, yeah, reality comes into our mind and then we forget that faith needs to be first. So. From today, I think uh, I will try my best to keep my faith always first and um, just not forget about the reality, but um, have the, the faith come first before the reality. So, Thank you, Diane. I think uh, you keep and take very well with your spouse and then you always have a strength and power. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Diane and John. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Diane and John. Even when the audio went on, I could feel feel your reflection. <laughs> All right. Now, brothers and sisters, uh, on to our announcement. If you're feeling inspired, if you gained something from today's morning devotion, feel free to invite people to join. Feel free to invite people to join in this morning devotion experience. You can send them to YouTube, send them to Facebook. And you all, if you're already there, you can go to edu.familyfed.org, scroll down to the bottom and join this Zoom room. You can also save that Zoom link, put it in your calendar, and every day probably get a reminder to join morning devotion in the morning. So uh, also, if you're feeling especially inspired, we will have a link in the chat, a link in the chat to donate, a link in the chat to donate to support morning devotion ministry. If you are not watching from the Zoom room, you can go to edu.familyfed.org and at the very top, there should be a donate button. We'll probably highlight it and make it bigger so it makes it much easy for you to support Morning Devotion Ministry. And now it's my pleasure to welcome up our Morning Devotion musical offering today uh, from a sister, Debbie Priest. Debbie Priest. Please unmute yourself. Good morning, Dr. Young. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> the song I'm, I'm going to sing this morning is called Close to You. And uh, I picked this song for a couple reasons. The first reason is, is I love this song because I just have a very special uh, memory of it when I first heard it. As I, I said uh, the first time I sang, um, before I joined the church, I was very depressed and, and very searching for, for meaning in, in my life. And I grew up in the inner city and it was just kind of dark and, and dreary and depressing where I lived. But one morning I had a radio alarm clock. It, it, I was uh, woken up by this beautiful song and it, and it was just like the, the light just filled the room. And I just felt this glimpse of hope and this beautiful voice was just like an angel singing to me at that time to, to comfort uh, uh, my lonely heart. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to sing this song is because it's a favorite song of mine. And, and also in particular, I, I wanted to sing this song to you, Dr. Young. Thank because, you, thank you. <laughs> because it's called close to you. And it's about how everybody wants to be close to you. I mean, just people come from all over the world and, you know, getting up, uh, you know, myself five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning. And the sister who was on today 
got up at three o'clock in the morning because she wants to be close to you. She wants to be with you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, baby. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to thank sing so this much. song this morning. to you wow what a what a what a sweet voice after hearing your song i close to you so much thank you i want to hug you and squeeze your face thank you <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Aunt Debbie, Debbie, for such a really beautiful, beautiful and, uh, comic, comic song. song. Thank you. Yeah, very, very professional. professional. And now, and now to, to, to close us out in prayer, prayer, I'd like to... Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, pray I'd pray like to invite up Wan Gin. <laughs> he, there he is. Wan Gin, if you could uh, close it out in prayer, please. <laughs> Did you mute? Yeah. Your turn. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. It's Wanjin, by the way, rest for Ed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, noted. <laughs> Please join me in prayer. Heavenly parents, thank you for this wonderful day that we get to have a lot of love, a lot of laughs with the people that we had in our breakout rooms. Beautiful, basic musical offering that we had here too. I pray, Heavenly parents, that we can really invite you into everything that we do in the aspects of our lives. I've always, I've now made it kind of a thing to definitely invite uh, Heavenly Parents to come to me to my workplace 
and basically work with me which wherever I'm at and making an active invitation to be there. I've seen many blessings with it as well. I've seen how Heavenly Parents really want to take care of people, really want to love people, really want to help people. I pray, Heavenly Parents, that we can also know that the Kingdom of Heaven starts inside of our own hearts. That's where God dwells. It's where He emanates from all of us. And that we are all unique expressions of Heavenly Parents. And that we can love every single aspect of that by loving everyone that we meet, everyone that is there, treat everyone as their family. I'm grateful for this time that we can spend here on the morning devotions to be able to love and cherish and share our hearts with each other. I hope that we can continue to keep doing so for the next seven years and even further past that for eternity. I pray this name, Wanchin Jackson Bowman, Hamilton Elizabeth Bowman, bless your family, adieu. Uh, thank you very much, one Jin. One Jin. I got it. I will never forget. It's such a beautiful prayer. And brothers and sisters, uh, two things. First of all, today is my last day. It's the end of my 10-day rotation of um, MC Morning Devotion. Tomorrow, you will have the dynamic Milhan Stevens yeah. to uh, MC the Morning Devotion. And next, today is the end of the seventh, I believe, the seventh 40-day Morning Devotion John Sung period. And to celebrate, we have a cake with Dr. Young and Reverend Takami. Take it away, Dr. Young. Okay. Ja, thank you so much. I think your incredible devotion and dedication for this uh, morning devotion. So we are just completed the seventh uh, 40 day recondition. Ja, let's sing a song, Takami. Oh. <laughs> okay. So let's sing a happy devotion. Mm. Happy devotion to you. Happy devotion to you. Happy devotion. Happy devotion. Happy devotion to you. So everybody, food together. One, two, three. Thank you. <laughs> Thank I'm you for having me. Have a nice Sunday. Have a nice Sunday, everyone. Bye-bye. 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 B